My 34M, GF, 32F, of 3 years has been cheating on me with her co-worker. My, 34M, girlfriend, 32F, went out tonight with her sisters and friends for a B-day dinner and she came home absolutely drunk I have never seen so drunk before. Long story short she went to bed and her friends kept calling her to make sure she was okay. Her phone was open to a text between her and one of her friends and happened to notice that they casually talk about cheating on their boyfriends. She was talking about speaking with him through her work email. And that's how I found out it was her co-worker. I open her work email. Thousands of messages going back two years. Pictures. Videos. Details everything. Her co-worker is also married. They would have sex during lunch. She doesn't know that I know yet but I plan on telling her tomorrow. I don't want to fix the relationship or be with her. She also lives with me. Basically I want her and all her stuff gone tomorrow. She's no for being physical. Never to me. But used to get in fights with females and has a short temper etc etc. I don't want no problems I just want her gone as easy and as civil as possible. What is the best way to go about this? I'm sorry to hear that op. I think the easiest way is the straightest way. 1. You can ask her directly about the cheating too. You can tell her you want her gone. But definitely you'll need to confirm tenancy laws where you live. Point 3. Maybe start packing her things in advance before she's up. Even if it's a small overnight bag why the enough for a few days so you can better pack more stuff. Point 4. Make sure you send yourself all of the evidence as she'll begin to control the narrative. 5. Change your locks. Don't let her come get her stuff while you're not home. 6. Be sure that you want to end the relationship. And depending on her history of violence, I would recommend having someone else there. Good luck. They have all their affair stuff on work email? For real? If you can, would be a solid bro move to let the other guy know his partner is also trash so he has the opportunity to take it out as you are doing. If you are worried she might become violent or aggressive, make sure you have others with you when you boot her out. And hopefully then the situation won't get out of hand. I would also think about security e.g. can you get the keys back? Do you need to think about changing locks etc? Doesn't hurt to be cautious. Tell his wife and their HR. I hope you forwarded those emails to yourself so you can let the other betrayed spouse know. Since she has a history of being violent I would have some friends close by when you confront her. So they can be witnesses and possibly help restrain her also record it with your phone. Edit. Also if you feel vengeful you can contact HR at her work since many places have rules regarding relationships with co-workers. 2 years. 1. Screenshots. Resend the emails to yourself. Point 2. Pack all her stuff when she goes to work. Point 3. Change the locks that day. Point 4. Place all her stuff outside the door right before she would get home. So it doesn't get stolen. Point 5. Put a note on the door saying, I know about X. 6. Send the evidence to the other guy's wife, GF. Point 7. Send the evidence to her friend's BFs who also talked about cheating. Point 8. Find out the boss's email or contact. Send the evidence to them. Point 9. Look for co-workers' emails. Send to them as well. Point 10. Burn their social lives down. Without vitriol. Just facts. Ignore the armchair lawyers in here. She will not be going to the police to get back in. She will be disoriented, ashamed and angry. Then she will blame you. Get in front of that with the evidence. But she is not going to consult a lawyer so she can get 30 days of living with someone who hates her. Record any interaction you have. It will act as a proof against false allegations and deterrent for her getting violent. 
You hit the record button on your phone in your pocket immediately before you walk in to talk. Protect yourself first and foremost there is absolutely no fixing this at all. I am so angry for you. That is just so nasty and so disrespectful. You deserve so much better than that. I cannot stand cheaters with a passion. I'm so sorry for this happening to you. Kick her to the curb. I'm so sorry that you have to go through this. Just make sure kicking her out suddenly is legal. Even if her name is not on any lease she might have rights. And sometimes violating those rights can be very expensive for you if she gets vindictive and sues. You. Take a step back for a second. Collect the evidence but also look up wiretapping, recording laws as well as tenancy laws in your state before you throw her stuff out. Don't screw yourself over because you're unable to be rational. You better screenshot all the evidences. And then you tell her what you know. You better don't tell her you have evidences. Because this is just for you to have assurance she will not try to tell people that you were the cheater. You can't trust her anymore or think that she will never do that to you. Because possibly you was thinking the same about her never cheat on you. If she try to rewrite the history, then you use the screenshots to expose her lies. And you better don't give her a second chance. Because she's been cheating on you for two fucking years. This was not a mistake. But a tons of choices she made again and again and again and she never came clean. So if she show you any regret, definitely will not be for have cheating on you, but for being caught. She could have gotten pregnant by this co-worker, and then make you raise a child that's not yours. Do you think you will overcome your feelings of disgust, distrust and resentment towards her? Well, maybe you should tell his wife as well, cause she's a victim too. But only after you finish this mess with your now ex. Or are you really thinking about giving her a second chance after all you found out? I second all the comments recommending you have someone there with you. When I confronted my ex on his cheating he went from playing Mr. Nice Guy to making false accusations about me to deflect from his own wrongdoing. Protect yourself and definitely check your tenancy laws. Hopefully she will just go willingly and eviction won't come into play. If she used her work email, send some of the explicit emails to her boss. Then she's likely to lose her job as well. Ah, I am so sorry you're going through this. You deserve better. You'll be okay. You got this. Stay strong. Remind me. No one is dumb enough to have all of that on their work email. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt and say once you pack up her stuff. Call her employer and let them know about the misuse of company property. You've gotten some great advice here. Another thing you need to do, and should do, is let her employer know. If they're doing this on the employer's time and money, and using the employer's electronic devices, such as computers, and whatnot, they're probably breaking a ton of rules. Just another avenue to go scorched earth. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.